I'm here for you. Of course. Let's not do this now. I was going to say, if she was going to talk about, like, present events, then... As much as she let the Maker in, and we have faith in the Maker, so hey, we must have faith in them. those over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used for something. Maybe I should touch them, or stand on them? Alistair, normal people tend to avoid strange-looking sections of floor thingies, as you say. They tend to be traps. You uh, don't really think they're traps, do you? Um. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I don't think it's solid enough to stand on, but it's a start. Oh, right, what's this one? As you like. Um. Yes, my friend? Hmm? Yes? That's it! That's an actual bridge piece right there. If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we can make it across. Why don't we just get one person across and go from there? There is much to do. Here I am. You need... All is well? Ready. Maker's breath. 
Andraste only favored the clever, it seems. That oh, was interesting. I'm here for you. Of course. Of course I do. I love stories far too much to keep them to myself. Everyone should be able to benefit from them, I think. Of course, Olesians enjoy telling stories. I shall tell you my favorite tale of Aveline, the Knight of Ole. A long time ago, a girl child was born to a farmer. He had hoped for a son, not a daughter, and so he told his wife to abandon the sure. child in the woods. Before the cold could claim her, the baby was found by a tribe of Dalish elves who took pity on the poor mewling thing and raised her as their own. Avelyn, for that is what they called her, grew strong and quick and clever under the guidance of the elves. She learned to wield the sword as well as any man, could kill a deer with an arrow at hundred paces, and was as graceful on the back of a horse as she was on foot. Aveline's Dalish guardians saw that she could easily best any Olesian chevalier in battle, and wanted to show the cruel humans the child they had left to die. They bestowed upon her a fine horse and armor, and sent her to prove herself to her people in the Grand Tourney. Now in those days, no woman was allowed to take up arms, let alone compete in the Grand Tourney, but Aveline kept her helmet on and was not discovered. Aveline? I, I completely missed the first part of the story, but Aveline, is she talking about Aveline from, our, from Dragon Age 2? Because that would be really awesome if she did. Aveline won many events and gained the approval of the adoring crowd. Eventually, she came face to face with the knight Kaleva in the Grand Melee. Aveline had already bested him in the joust, and Kaleva was determined not to lose a second time. Out of desperation to regain his honor, Kaleva tripped Aveline and tossed her to the ground, ripping off her helmet as he did so. Silence fell upon the arena as Aveline was revealed. Kaleva declared the previous competitions invalid. A woman had taken part, and this was not allowed. But the crowd cheered for Aveline. Kaleva was furious, for he had lost to a woman and was now being shamed. Blinded by his rage, he forced Aveline to her knees. Know your place, woman, cried he, and slit her throat. I was, oh, okay, must not be the same, Aveline. Uh, I was hoping for a uh, happy ending. The son of the king, Prince Freyan, was present. He recognized Aveline's skill and bravery and began to see the injustice done to the women in his land. When he was made king, he rewrote the laws of Ole so that women could also become chevalier. He honored Aveline and knighted her after her death. And to this day, any female who is knighted reveres Aveline the Brave, for she is the patron of all women chevalier. Hmm. Which one? Andraste was the maker's chosen. The maker had long since abandoned the world when the sound of her singing turned his ear. Beauty, grace, and wisdom enraptured him, and he offered to take her from this flawed world to become his divine bride. But Andraste had an earthly husband and would not forsake him. Instead, she beseeched the maker to return to his people once more. So earnest was her plea that the Maker was moved, and promised that he would create a paradise on earth if all abandoned their false gods and turned once more to him. And this is why Andraste began her exalted march on the idolaters of the Tevinter Imperium. The Maker granted her his powers with which to smite her enemies. Andraste brought the Imperium to its knees, and her victories converted many to the worship of the Maker. Andraste died. Alas, it was the frailties of men that betrayed and killed Andraste. Her earthly husband, Mafarath, a chieftain of the Alamari tribes himself, 
grew jealous as his wife's popularity and influence overshadowed his own. She was also revered as the maker's betrothed, and Mafarath began to see their own bond waning in significance as Andraste became ever more devoted to the maker. Out of envy and spite, Mafarath made a pact with the Archon Hesarian of Tevinta, allowing his beloved Andraste to be ambushed and captured. Andraste was burned at the stake in Minrathus, the capital of Tevinta. The Tevinta Chantry claims that in Andraste's last moments, Hesarian's heart softened and he heard the voice of the Maker telling him to end her suffering. He plunged his sword into her heart, and as her blood washed over his hands, he became one of the faithful. Dissenters said that the Archon only converted because he could not stem the tide of Andraste's cult, and was forced to do so to stay in power. We will never know for sure. Let's move on. I... I... I don't know what to say. I don't either. The altar is little more than a dusty stone slab. You can make out an inscription carved into its face. Cast off the trappings of the worldly life and cloak yourself in the goodness of spirit. King and slave, lord and beggar, be born again in the maker's sight. Uh, yes, remove equipment. Oh, wow. Um, some of these things are things that I did not need to see right now. The altar is a little more... Okay, um... Leave the altar? Um... I mean... Oh, you uh, it doesn't hurt. The trials of the gauntlet. You have been through the trials you of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste and like her. You have and been like cleansed. Her. You have proven yourself worthy. You oh, he's cleansed. talking. I didn't even hear his you voice. Have proven yourself worthy, pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes. I just wish I wasn't covered in blood. Oh, well. I guess I got my equipment back. I guess I'm worth, but I am worth it. You give it to me, I'm worth it. Uh huh, I'm worth it. I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I. Oh, I, I, I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here's, here she is. I could not have asked for a greater honor than to be here. I will never forget this feeling. These are the earthly remains of Andraste, prophet and bride of the Maker. You take a pinch of the ashes and place it in a leather pouch. Now, we shall leave the urn alone. You've seen and touched Andraste's ashes. They are the holiest thing on this earth, the remains of the Maker's Chosen. I would not have disturbed them. I know. It seems almost irreverent to use her as a curative, and it is also a tiny bit morbid. I do not know if I am worthy to look upon her. Yes, of course, but it still is something to be in awe of. Yes. Something on we your mind. We did it, guys. Uh, never mind, you don't have anything cool to say. Let's just go. Go back to the mountaintop. We're probably going to have to kill all the rest of those guys because we didn't put the dragon blood into the ashes. I wasn't going to. Although I'm sure this could probably be worth something else somewhere.
Oh, I can level up. Sweet. Let me do that. Okay. Wait, have I not activated that? Okay. Specialization points, I got one. Um, maybe some more strength. And another dexterity. Oh, I got main character learned a specialization. Yeah. Actually, before I do this, what is my standing? <laughs> it's almost complete. I wonder what happens if we get all the way up. You have her. been to the urn, but Andraste has not been freed. What manner of treachery is this? I should never have trusted you with this task! And now you will die! Behold the fiery vengeance of Andraste herself! No, you don't. Lovely. Ah. Ah. And so I shall. Ah. Oh, I'm stunned again. Of course. Ah. Ah. Dip back yourself! Ah. Ah. You must have victory. Oh, yes. Uh. Uh. Where you go on. Uh. There it is. Good job, Alistair. Well, this guy's got a remains, at least. But not Colgrove, or whatever his name was. Ceremonialist. I defied the cult. Uh, we still have to fight all the stupid things. Oh, I think I have Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. I really want to go to Redcliffe now and just finish that. A gong. <laughs> Hi, dragon. Hi, high dragon. You will not. You will not defeat us. Hi, dragon. Dear me, what? I think I need a health. Actually, no. And so does Alistair. Yeah! Oh, let me! Let me! Oh, well done, Alistair. Well, you Oh, 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 Fire. Fire bad. Fire is bad. I think I need to, uh, definitely need health. And so I shall. Okay, no. Okay, not yet, but run away. I will fight if I must. No. Poultice. Need it. Oh, hi. 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 Um. This is gonna take a while. Why did I think this was going to be easy? Let us 
send this. Win, no. No. No, it is just it is just I. This is bad. This is very bad. versus the world why did you not drink the poultice lovely as you desire of course so I shall lovely Not good for my health. Did I do that by hitting the go? Oh, ah. Why? Why am I here? Ow. I'm gonna run out of pulse this is done. And so I shall. I've only got it down to half health. Well, alright. Please, please, please. Please? God dang it! Be sure to use pulses to heal yourself in battle. What do you think I was doing, game? When was the last time I saved?